morning, man. Welcome to it. It is the Ace Michael Show, and I'm Ace Michaels. Happy to be with you guys. Always, always a pleasure. I love you. There, I said it. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to commit to it, but I'm just saying. I'm telling you how I, feel. I do love you. And if you ever want to be on the show, you can. All you have to do is call us, email us, DM, like the kids say, DM. You can DM us. And that's the best way to get your ideas, opinions, convictions, beliefs. Get them off your chest. Like I say, got it on your chest. Come be a guest. That's how we do things here on the Ace Michaels Show. Today, my guest is Emily Alexandra Guglielmo the american Yay! mermaid y'all that's who she is she is the american mermaid so you don't have to get her confused with all the other mermaids you've been shuffling she's the american one <laughs> hey, welcome to the show thank you ace i know it's been oh my gosh it has been years since i've uh, been on your show um and since yeah. then um i have transitioned officially into the american mermaid when I first started doing mermaid stuff, oh my gosh, I feel old now, like eight years ago. Um, wow. I, I, was, I, I was known as the Florida mermaid. I trademarked, I trademarked that, I have a website and I would promote myself as, um, as Emily, the Florida mermaid. And right. then I started getting calls out of Florida um, in different states and they would fly me to different states to do mermaid events. So I was like, well, you know what? Okay. I'm, I'm not in Florida anymore. I'm expanding. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. all over America. So um, I love the American mermaid. And I feel like that's way more appropriate now because I'm even going out of America to other countries. So when I do go to other countries, like right now working with a lot in the Caribbean, um, the American mermaid is just very well appropriate because I'm from America, the American mermaid, representing America, my country. So, um, American yeah, mermaid. Yeah, I've always been curious to ask you, you are from America, but your ethnicity is not American. Are you, you're, you're, don't tell me. <laughs> no, tell me, because it'll take 20 more minutes. So I am, I am 25%, which is a quarter each of Puerto Rican, Italian, English, Polish. Oh, wow. How do you so know the quarters, a, though? How do you know that? Um, well, my dad is um, half Puerto Rican, half Italian. Okay. And my mom is half English, half Polish. But I recently just did that 23andMe, okay. um, where you, like, you swab your spit and then send it out. Um, and I actually just did that last week crazy enough. So it's funny that we talk about this because I might be something a little, I might not be a quarter of each of those, like I have always thought. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm really anxious to get those, um, those results in and find out really truly what am I. So maybe I should come back and let you know my results. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know because that's <laughs> kind of interesting to me too. Like, you know, me, it's pretty apparent that I'm some quarter black you know, and that's pretty much right. what I'm from some part <laughs> of Africa originally. And there you go. So my story doesn't get to be so interesting. But you've got an interesting story. Tell me about the mermaiding. Because I'm always curious about that. First off, it's hard for me to believe that there's a whole real industry about mermaiding. Like people, enough people are interested enough in mermaiding for you to have a job, like a full time gig being a mermaid. Right. I know. It's wild. It's um, and when I, and when I tell people I'm a mermaid, they just, they look sticker shock. They're like, what? I'm sorry. What? Um, <laughs> right, right. The fact that there is, um, there is a niche out there that right. yes. Um, but we are, we're under the entertainment. Um, we are actors. We're entertainers. Just like when you go book, um, you know, a clown or a, a you know, a face painter. Um, so we are kind of like in that genre sure. where you hire an entertainer to come to an event and help to promote entertainment. Um, I do a lot of events with um, balloon artists that do mm -hmm. balloons, makeup or uh, face 
face painters, um, stilt walkers. So we're kind of like in that niche. Um, but it's funny because I get a lot of people that reach out to me and this is their first time um, hiring a mermaid and they're explaining their event. And um, a lot of times they're just like, I'm not sure, like, what do you guys do? And I'm like, look, we can actually do anything you want. If you've got a pool, we'll create a show with music and we'll actually swim to the music in the water. Um, a lot of festivals, outside music festivals, pirate festivals, a lot of outside big events, um, we actually can bring a huge tank and swim in the tank. Um, so people can come up and actually watch in the mermaid tank like a fish is in the tank. That's really cool. That's like one of my favorite type of mermaid gigs to do. Um, besides kids parties. I also, I get um, hired a lot to come to kids parties to be like an appearance. Um, they'll come and sit down and take pictures with me. I'll tell stories. We'll swim in the pool together. Right. Um, and then also a lot of times it's just for eye candy where I'm like literally just like laying there, you know, waving as people walk by. Um, so it it is very... I mean, the whole broad spectrum. I mean, it, it, it depends on the client, what kind of event you're doing, but it doesn't matter what, you can always have a mermaid at your event to make a splash. That is something else. And you know, I'm a guy, so you said that whole thing, and what I got from it mostly was, dude, they have pirate festivals? <laughs> bro, yes. Bro. <laughs> Pirate Festival. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So in America, you can do anything. You can you can come up with anything and make money in America. Mm -hmm. You should be creative. Now you have another gig that you're doing now that I know about. We gotta share this with the people too, because this is a kind of a similar, this is like a bridge gig that you have. This ties your one world into your other world, which is the cosmetic. Gig. Yes. The beauty, it's really more health and beauty. It's not so much, right? My <laughs> look is good, but give a brother. It's the first time I tried, I never did it before. <laughs> For the first one, it's not so bad. That's All not, right. So wasn't bad. you do health and beauty and you have a product line. Right. right. Yes. So, okay. you know, being, being a very avid athlete, dancer, a uh, swimmer, mermaid, um, uh, model, actor, um, being under bright lights, being outside for photo shoots, swimming under the water for a gig, um, dancing on stage under bright lights. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't matter what, but I was constantly coming up with the same issue and that was my makeup was sweating off. Exactly. Um, and that's kind of where the idea came to fruition. I wanted to create a makeup line that not only was water resistant, waterproof, sweat proof, um, but it was safe for your skin and it was safe for the coral reefs as well. So my entire cosmetic line, my whole cosmetic brand, all of the products are vegan, cruelty free, water resistant and ocean friendly. Cause you can actually in fact wear it in the ocean and it won't come off and seep onto the coral reefs, which is a huge issue right now. Um, being a big ocean activist, I. That, that's very passionate to me. I, I wanted to make it um, be safe for the ocean as well, because a lot of times I am in the ocean. I do a lot of underwater photography, um, uh, underwater photo shoots, underwater gigs, mm -hmm. um, underwater filming stuff. And a lot of it is not just in pools, but it's in the ocean. Um, and so um, I also, I'm actually partner up, partnering up with a lot of other um, ocean oriented nonprofits um, that bring awareness um, to help keeping our oceans clean. So I'm really excited for that. A lot of good things coming in store um, after this whole Corona pandemic thing, but um, in the very near future, there's a lot of good things coming up with other nonprofits that I've been um, partnering up with. But the, um, the makeup line is my newest venture. I just launched it a little bit over a year ago, um, and it's called Emily Alexandra Cosmetics. Nice. 
That's nice. And so you have the whole line, and we can show the, we'll show the images of the line that you have. Um, and that's really fabulous. And so you, would you consider yourself an entrepreneur at this point? I mean, you, you clearly are entrepreneurial. Well, thank you, Ace. Um, I, would, I like to consider and think myself like an entrepreneur um, and slash philanthropist. Mm -hmm. um, but whenever I think of it, like I always have like these massive goals to be like, you know, Bill Gates type philanthropist, right? Well, that starts um, from somewhere. I mean, this is the beginning of that. You'll get there. It is. It is. And a lot of days I, maybe I just like, I, I look down on myself, whereas like, I feel like I should be farther. I should be doing more. Um, but I'm exactly where I need to be in life. And I need to remember that. Yes. So, um, yes. baby steps is key. And, okay. um, Amen. Amen. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm working at it. A lot of days are better than others. You know, some days I'll be in my office and I just feel like I'm not getting anything done. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've also noticed for me being, um, virtually a one man show, or should I say a one mermaid show? Um, I'm trying to do. At you. That's tight. <laughs> I had to like throw in the pun. Yeah, you throw um, exactly. So you know, I have so many aspects of my life, right? I have me as a model, my mermaid, um, me as a mermaid, and my agency where I actually now I have a lot of mermaids that'll work with me that I send out. Mm -hmm. So me as a model, mermaid, and then my nonprofit, and then my cosmetic. So that's four. Um, like separate entities that are five. Oh my gosh, do I not know how to do math? Model, you're, mermaid, nonprofit, cosmetic. Hello, you're Emily Alexander. And and Hello. now exactly. You do so, it. Your whole so I have, hand is full already. You got one full hand. I have hand five. That's I have five about. things on my plate. But I'm I'm learning now to like not have to try and do everything myself i've realized helping to delegate and and give you know tasks to other people to help with me mm. to to make the goals go farther is key because i can't do everything by myself now i just cut so much so um allowing others to to be helpful and in, in making my goals grow is, is important for me to remember <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And tell us about your show because that's that's all you. Nobody can really help you with the vision of your own talk show, right? So tell us a little bit about that. What can we expect from that? Okay, so it's called All Talks of Life. And I like the little play on cliche from All Walks of Life because the whole focus of the show is I will be interviewing All Walks of Life people from different cultures, different societies, different industries, all different career paths. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really, really excited myself to learn about, you know, different people and cultures um, throughout this process. So um, right. I'm, I'm going to be, um, it'll be a podcast as well as a show on YouTube. So stay tuned very soon in the next couple of weeks. That's what I'm talking about. A couple of weeks, baby. That is hot, hot, hot. So, and if we want to follow you on the www, where do we go? Where do we need to go next to find you and stay connected? We want to stay connected. Yes. Okay. So please follow me on all my sites that are listed below. Um, the Florida Mermaid.com, the American Mermaid.com, <laughs> Emily Alexandra Cosmetics.com. Which, by the way, Emily Alexandra, that's my middle name. Um, <laughs> right. um, and then supportingwater.org is the nonprofit. And then just me personally, my, um, my model site is emilyguglielmo.com. And I'm on all Instagram as well. Um, so follow me on all of those too. And then the newest one, which I just started yesterday, I just started an Instagram account for... Maybe still. All talks of life. That is what the hey man, it's the so follow me on show. Emily Alexandra is on the show today, the American Mermaid. You check out her uh talk show, she's good. Okay, just so you know. The girl 
got it going on. So she's a great. <laughs> oh, thank you. Know, you. Uh, she's gonna be you're awesome. too sweet. You're just too sweet. And I tell you what, guys, if you didn't get any other information from this today that will help you in life, take this. They got a pirate festival, homie. They do. Uh, they're so Pirates popular festival. in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> no, the, it, it's a thing. It's a thing. And I actually would do the pirate festival as a mermaid, as their head mermaid in, in Las Vegas for years. A pirate festival. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm at Ace Michael's show, Emily Alexandra on the show today. Listen, if you ever want to be on the show, you know how to do that. You know what I say? End of every show. Live the life you love. Love the life you live. Thank you.